Hi, my name is Natasha Rapino, and welcome to A Mouthful of Veggies, where I show you how to make nutritious, delicious vegan food on a budget. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make three different types of vegan tamales. One is going to have black beans and kale. The other is going to have just plain corn. And the last one is going to have meatless meat. Also, I'm going to be having the mukbang or mukbang. So please stay tuned. Okay, so to a big pot, we are going to add a strainer and we're going to add a little bit of water at the bottom not too much okay then to a big bowl we are going to add our corn masa okay also some coconut oil some baking powder salt and some sugar and we're going to mix it up then we're going to add a little bit of water, not too much, just enough. We don't want it to be too soggy and we also don't want it to be too hard. Okay, so now I'm going to use my hands because I feel like it makes the process a lot easier. Make sure it's freshly washed hands with no jewelry and here we go it looks like play-doh it's not too soft it's not too hard it's just all right okay so now we're going to get our corn husk we're going to soak it in some water okay and then we're going to lay them out on the paper towel so it's easy to grab and go we don't want them too hard so make sure they're kind of soft now for our first tamales, we're going to be using this groundless beef from Gardein. Okay, so to a frying pan, we're going to add a little bit of oil, some green onions, our groundless beef, also some garlic seasoning, some seasoning salt, and of course, some black pepper. Okay, so next we're going to add a little bit of pasta sauce for added flavor and of course added color and we're going to stir it up. Also, I like to put jalapeno in my meatless grounds for some added spice. I love spicy. Yeah. Okay, so for the first tamale, we are going to get a little bit of the tamale mixture. Don't make it too thick, don't make it too thin, just right. Put a little bit of the filling, okay? And we are going to fold it over, okay? And then we are going to tie it up. Okay, so for our second tamale, we're going to be making the black bean tamale. We're going to add a little bit of oil, some jalapeno, one can of black beans, garlic seasoning, black pepper, and some seasoning salt. And then with a fork, we are going to mash out the beans kind of like what you do with refried beans but of course using black beans and then we're going to make it cook for a little bit and there we go also i added some kale so yeah now we're going to do the same thing that we did for the meatless ground tamales and we're going to do that with the black bean and kale tamale okay not too thick not too thin okay not too much filling Okay, just right, and we're going to tie it all off. Okay, and do the same thing with the rest of the filling. Okay, so now for the sweet corn tamale, the third and last tamale, we're going to get one strained can of corn. Okay, a little bit of sugar, we're going to stir it up. Also, we're going to add some water, and of course, we're going to use our hands because it's easier that way. And add a little bit to the corn husk, and there you go, sweet corn tamale. And we're going to boil this for about an hour. Today's video, I'm going to be eating these delicious tamales. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. And I have some, mind the spoon. This is for the tamales. And I have some sweet plantains over here. And let's not forget, I have my coffee. Yes, coffee is great for breakfast. Okay, so I'm going to dig right in. Do you guys want to see a close-up real quick? Let's, let's show a close-up.
Okay, so let's dig right into this delicious food. Okay, so I think this is, I think this is the beef, yeah, the meatless beef. Let's see how this tastes. I mean, so far, all I got was the filling, not the filling, the outer, outer corn, tamale mixture. It tastes really good. Okay, let's get right into the beef part. Like, you see the beef kind of sticking out right here. Let's get into that. I should have just cut it in half from the very beginning. Okay, so here's the inside, guys. Okay, that stuff looks really good. It looks just like beef. Mm. Now that's some really good stuff. Um, yeah, that's some good stuff. Excuse my son in the background. He's watching TV right now. So if we hear some noise, that's him. This stuff is awesome. Like, my husband was like so happy when he came from work and he saw that I made tamales. Yeah. I just want to talk about like being grateful for the little that you have. A lot of people take for granted what they have and they wish that they have they had things that other people have when we often forget to look at what we already have. I have my 18 subscribers. I'm proud. I'm happy about it, you know, because I could have just had one subscriber. So thank you for everybody who subscribed to my channel so far. And I highly appreciate, um, yeah, I highly appreciate you guys subscribing and staying tuned to my videos. And I look forward to the many more um, subscribers that I'm going to be getting. But yeah, this thing is so spicy. I, I put jalapeno in it and it's like making me kind of want to cry. I should put this right here. No, right here. Yeah. Okay, let's get a, a sweet plantain. Mm. Look at that. Sweet plantain. Mm. This is some good stuff, y'all. I want to finish the beef, but I think I'm going to dig right into the bean so you guys can see the bean tomorrow. Okay, so here's the bean tamale. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's so delicious. Like, oh. Mmm. That's some good stuff. It's a little, it's not spicy, it's like a mild. I don't know your hot tolerance, but it's not that spicy. But this beef, uh, meatless beef one is really spicy compared, so. Yeah, so let me take a few more bites before I dig into the um, the corn, the sweet corn. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Taste some of that. 
Mm. If you tried this recipe, please let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And if you want to see more uh, of my Spanish recipes or that I have. Mm. Mm. This is absolutely delicious, guys. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not lying. I am serious. Okay. I'm going to dig right into... I'm going to dig right into the sweet one. Because I just want to eat all of them at once. Okay? So, let's dig right into the sweet one all right so look at that mm. that is some good stuff and now I'm going to take a, a spoonful of that I mean you can ooh, you can blend out your corn if you like to you don't necessarily have to um, make the corn just be like freshly out of the can. You could even put cream of corn, like you can make your own vegan cream of corn um, if you want to. See? Mm, I forgot to show you guys another close-up. Mm, yeah. This is some good stuff, guys. Some really good stuff. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Right. I sip too fast. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get keep eating, guys. Mm. We like. I love doing these mukbangs. On my first couple of videos, um, I just feel like I need to interact more. Um, and people need to see how good this food is. Like, it's easy to make a video, but it's different to see the person who makes the video actually eating the food. Right, that's why I'm starting to, after I make the recipe, show you guys how to make the recipe, I'm starting to also show you guys me eating it because sometimes people make recipes but they personally will not eat what they cooked you get what I'm saying so that's the main reason I'm kind of changing it up a little bit yep mm. Mm. look at that jalapeno I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's a little spicy. But I mainly made this one for my husband. Because I know he loves, he loves meat. He's trying to switch over. I don't eat meat. So I made this for him. So that he can, you know, so it could be easy for him to trans transition. Um, plus he likes a spicy food food he's he's Cuban by the way I'm gonna make him come on this um, show on my channel hi right, guys this is some great stuff I said always scrape your plate guys be grateful for the little that you have This is the food I have, so I don't believe in wasting it, okay? I don't believe in waste. These vegan until yeah, these vegan tamales are absolutely delicious. You can just pop them in. 
You can just pop them in the freezer and there you go. You have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you want for the whole week. Make sure you wrap them up tightly, you know, and use freezer bags. Don't use the regular um, Ziploc bags. Make sure you use them um, freezer bags so it won't get, like, have that weird taste. You know that, like, weird freezer taste? Yeah, you don't want that. So make sure you freeze them properly. But, yeah, I personally would just make a whole, a whole, um, two pots of this stuff or a whole pot of this stuff it matters how big your family is or if it's just you and you'll have food for days delicious and nutritious food for days okay all right this this black bean tamale has like has kale in it you can put some more greens if you like, like spinach or something like that. Like, try your best to sneak in the healthy foods or like the greens and stuff into your diet. Like, you don't have, it doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to be bland. Like, I could season this stuff up. I don't have to use like salt or sea salt or stuff like that. I choose to, but you don't have to. I can use like um, lemon pepper. I can use a bunch of like natural type of um, natural type of seasonings that would give this food a lot of flavor without like salt. Like if you can't have salt, you know, just be creative. I mean, that's all it takes. Like people think when well, you're vegan. You don't have food to eat and like you starve yourself or something like that. And it's completely opposite. You just have to use your noggin, you know, and come up with different recipes. Use your noggin, come up with different recipes. Use your noggin, come up with different recipes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I probably should have had water with this. Just saying, but I haven't had coffee in such a long time, so I really felt like for some coffee, I usually, I, I mean, I used to drink a lot of like iced coffee and stuff like that, but I'm trying to like cut down a little bit, you know, eat a little bit better. Mm hmm. Yep, so. Mm hmm. This food, I'm just telling you right now, all you need is probably like two tamales or one, you know? I made mine a little big. I have to say I'm getting a little full. So your girl's gonna wrap this up for tomorrow. Yeah. But I'll at least finish my coffee. Did I say tomorrow? I mean, I'm going to wrap this up for later. I'm not cooking today. Or, yeah. I'm not, this doesn't take long to make, but it is a process. And I have a lot of tamales, so I don't want them going to waste. Like, I don't want them going to waste and 
I cook a lot during the week so I have a lot of leftovers and I try to eat all my leftovers because I don't again I don't believe in waste so yeah so this is going to be lunch most likely it's not going to be dinner but yeah guys So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe below. I make new videos every single week and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.